I almost feel like we have nothing to talk about these days unless it's bad news. Recently, I came across an article about this phenomenon called doom scrolling. It was about how we tend to spend our time focused on negative information. Things like getting sucked into the drama of social media posts, pulled into clickbait articles, and then, of course, keeping up with the latest news with very doom-like headlines. It becomes an addiction, almost like you need to take a hit of toxicity. Hey, my day isn't going great, but let me see what else is going on in the world that's super horrible and is crumbling before my eyes. Why did I get sucked into that article in the first place? Oh yeah, I guess it's part of doom scrolling. Hold on, I, I can't believe I got sucked into doom scrolling. I wound up in the web of toxic energy. Quick, I need to get out. Someone help me. Hello? Can I get out of this? It has come to this, folks. We needed a popular scientist who many of us grew up with on TV to tell us to wear a face mask. Greetings, everyone. Bill Nye here. Why do people in the scientific community want you to wear a face mask when you're out in public? Well, please consider the following. Face masks, like this one, prevent particles from my respiratory system from getting into the air and then into your respiratory system. I really hope that video works. I'm still seeing all the very defiant people out there walking around like I'm the crazy one. I've been holding back so hard from saying what I really want to. Thanks for spraying the germs in my face. Could you give me a little bit more? But I know, it's lockdown time and we are all freaking out, not being able to do what we want. The World Health Organization has released another reversal on their thoughts on COVID-19. Now they're saying the virus does remain in the air indoors, which is why it's important not to gather with large numbers of people. And if you have to be somewhere with others, cover your face. China is slowly gaining more control over the world. Some universities in the UK have agreed to comply with the country's rules for students studying online. The BBC reports the agreement enables students in China to keep studying for their UK degrees online even though China has limited internet access. Students will only be able to access material on an allowed list. That's how it starts. They creep in with rules and flashy apps, and suddenly <laughs> you're making dance videos at 3 in the morning. <laughs> TikTok remains one of the most popular social media apps. I'll admit it's fun and it seems innocent. But in case you've been willfully ignoring the news, the app has some serious security and data privacy issues. And now that the Trump administration has gotten paranoid enough to consider banning TikTok, the company behind the app is debating about moving their headquarters out of China. We must keep users addicted. We are willing to completely move to another country to ensure people can't stop dancing and lip syncing. A distracted population is better than a focused one. Meantime, according to BuzzFeed News, some users are starting to migrate over to another app called Byte, which launched earlier this year. Personally, I'm trying to figure out a way to get off social media and have one single source for all my content. It's exhausting having to make sure I cover all the bases and that's why you should keep up with me on my website. Shameless plug. But MiriamSoap.com is where I plan to keep my stuff going as I debate whether I'll go off the grid. Cal calm down. I, I didn't say when. May maybe in five years. Maybe tomorrow. It really depends on my mood. Well, that's it for The Miriam Show Season 3. More videos and content coming your way soon, including more fun, lighthearted sketches, music, and more. So keep an eye out and subscribe so you don't miss out when new content is posted. And of course, I'd love to hear from you. What do you enjoy? What do you want to see more of? Let me know. For now, be safe, be well, and I'll see you next time.